I mean, we couldn't have more beautiful weather for this right? weekend. Right? It's been gorgeous. It's, it's hard and to shop, but I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, you know, making you had it happen. to do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, temperatures in the 70s the last few days. We had a quick moving cold front last night. So today's highs were only in the low 60s, but we have some beautiful colors out for our sunset mm. tonight. This up from Loveland Ski Area, and it's just been gorgeous up in the mountains and here across the Front Range as well. This looking from uh, the Westin in Westminster out toward the mountains. So a nice day this afternoon. Highs in the low 60s here for the Front Range and the Plains. So a drop by about 10 degrees in our afternoon highs thanks to the passage of this cold front. 40s, 50s, even some 60s up in the higher elevations and for the western slope in the low 60s as well. We'll actually have 70s showing back up again for the next couple of afternoons. The sun is going to stick around and then it will be cooler into Tuesday. Another pretty powerful cold front coming our way. As for our current temperatures, we have 54 for City Park, 52 for Aurora and 51 for Highlands Ranch right now. Temperatures in the 40s up toward Blackhawk and Netherland and 55 for Boulder. Now downtown Denver, we're at 54, but at DIA, it's a little cooler at 46 and our winds in from the southeast at nine miles an hour. It's been very quiet across the state. Even with the passage of that front, it was windy late last night and now we have partly cloudy skies here statewide. Some clouds here for the front range and that's about it. No rain or snow to speak of and that will be the trend in through the rest of the night. 44 by 8 o'clock, 40 degrees by 11 o'clock and through the overnight hours, our temperatures will drop into the 30s. So we'll have an official overnight low of 38 degrees tonight with partly cloudy skies and you can see those temperatures will be in the 30s all the way from Fort Collins to DIA uh, toward Highlands Ranch but in the city of Highlands Ranch we'll have a low of 43 degrees. Our hour by hour forecast keeping our temperatures mostly in the 40s overnight and then tomorrow we'll be right around the low 70s for afternoon highs once again. So another beautiful afternoon here for the Front Range and the plain 70s for southeastern Colorado and mostly 50s and 60s for the mountains as well. Our highs tomorrow in the upper 60s toward Greeley and Fort Collins low 70s here from Denver toward Boulder. If you're headed to Keystone tomorrow for a little skiing first chair 37 degrees nice and mild by last chair 55 degrees with lots of sunshine. Our future cast keeping just a little cloud cover in over us tomorrow morning and then by the afternoon it clears right on out and we're looking quiet all across the state as we go into Monday night and Tuesday though we have a chance for snow showing up for our northern and central mountains. This will be late Monday night at about 1130. Then we even have a chance for moisture here and it could come down in the form of very light rain, uh, light rain and snowfall here in Denver and mostly to the south though. I think what we're going to see is mostly south of I-70 toward Colorado Springs and Pueblo. That's where we'll get the best chances for that snowfall coming down here. It'll probably be a mix, but we're keeping it in the forecast here with our temperatures dropping from 70s to 40s, our overnight lows in the 20s, and then we would cover out of that back into the low 50s here for the rest of the week, and this is where we should be normally this time of year is in the low 50s with partly cloudy skies. Jacqueline? Yeah.